and there goes some... Um, well, I have no audio, but you guys do, so that's all that's important. Anyways, um... Okay, hello everybody, welcome... We're back to this part. We are back to this section. Uh, as you can see, you are back watching my Ice Wizard, rather than uh, my Fire Wizard. I may have missed a bit of questing, but I don't think I missed that much, if any, because we're still in the same Kaelion, or however you pronounce it. I don't have any sound at all. Is this live? This is live. Okay. A treatise on the building, maintenance, and repair of teleporter arches in, out, and throughout Avalon. Yep, sounds about right. It took that book. <sighs> so yeah, this is the um, this is the fur. This is not the first video that you've seen of this, but uh, as I said, if you watch my um, Zachary Earthflower's diary, um, Azteca diary things, you will know that I am that. Polaris is coming out soon. Very soon. And I am beyond excited. Way, way beyond excited. Might want to equip... Mob. I forgot. Okay, yes, small deck. Gonna put a few changes in this. Yes, backpack item locked so I can, uh... What? Okay, that was weird. Okay. And that was the boss deck. All deck. Boss deck. Yep, that's about it. Sound cut off for me again, but whatever. Cut through there. And yeah, here we are. Back to Ashley. Yay. Ba -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. So hard playing without sound on. You did it! Thank you for all there your help. Back. I'm going to take my things to Abbey Road right now. Tell Kay I'll paint his shield for him there. I know I was back to saying this. I know it's playing for you guys still. I know you can still somewhat hear the sound in the background, but for me, I can't, and it's... It's really, really weird. It's... And I walked right past him because I'm the heck is Stuart K over here. Wait, Stuart K is a guy? Okay, yeah, I can kind of see that. I realize the streets are overrun by Frownlings, but you took your time finding the Master Arms painter, didn't you? Well, I guess it's good that it took you so long to help Ashlyn get her things and get back to Caliburn. I only just found your map. This will lead you right to Sir Drustin Silverhub's cottage in the wild. That's the nice part of the Weirwood. I'm going to Caliburn myself. Before you set off, could you distract the Hobgoblin Plunderers and Whiptail Pantera so I'll be safe? So I'm just fixing my deck on my Fire Wizard really quickly. Okay, three of Freets. Three Prisms, three Fire Blades. Three of those, one of those, okay. Two of those, okay. Yeah, this should be good. Go one more blade of each. Okay, yeah, that's good, okay. Now we can continue. Hooray.
And I forgot to change the deck on my fire. Hooray. Hooray. And there's still no sound. I've already pretty much said everything I wanted to say about Polaris in my uh, life video, which is probably not a very good idea for me to say. that again. Fire spell. Do that. Uh, so yeah, my fire has, um, basically it has, he, she has her boss deck equipped, which is okay because these guys aren't bosses, so it should be easy for me to kill them with them. The thing is, I didn't set it for a fire boss deck, so I don't have any pierce, I don't have any prisms, and the god dang sound, it keeps cutting off every few seconds, and it's really annoying. That's still the decent damage for a non-prismed fire spell. Yes, no block. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hope you had fun. Oh god, I can't wait for the penguin spell. And one left. Gonna actually change my deck this time. Hooray. I feel ready now. Okay, get this health wisp. That's what I like about two person mounts. Both people on it get health. And my fire wizard has extra damage on her because of her little pet thingy. Closest thing I'll ever have to a perfect pet. See, look, it has like, um. They have the dragon fire, dragon stalkers, fire starters cape, which is actually kind of weird considering we both ended up getting the same. That's the only one we have. That's the only one we both have. We both have the, um. The waterworks robe, but we don't have anything else from it. See, look, it has a plus four fire damage, and you cast unicorn spell. Yay! Thank you, pet. I actually kind of like this right here. They're the same level. You have to be at the same level to use them. You, um, 
The Fire Zilla costs less pips, it gives less health, but it deals more damage. Which is kind of weird in my opinion. I mean... Then again, they are both my aesthetic, so I'm okay with the Ruby Ring of Battle. I gotta go upgrade my Isis Ring in a little bit. This is why I really need to just suck up my uh, pride and get the uh, two-person mount on my secondary account because going through it all with my fire going into battle first can be a bit stressful. Um, I've got to change the deck again on the fire. I need two of each and then a fire dragon spell, yep. Ready. I still absolutely love. That actually brings up an interesting point. Where is the Stormzilla? That just brings something to mind. Where is the Stormzilla being summoned from? Because we have not seen in any of the worlds anything that looks even remotely similar to that. At all. None of the worlds look anything remotely similar to what Stormzilla provides. And I didn't able, I wasn't able to get a uh, buff for my ice wizards, but uh, live and let live. Oh, yay. See, this is the power. This is the power of teamwork. This is why I like this team of ice and fire together. Nothing can stop it. Well, a few things have, I think. Uh, a few things have gotten close to, I think, but... 
because I actually did end up giving my uh, fire wizard the secondary life school, when we're fighting a boss, we never have to worry about running out of health. Sorry, I'm picking the fire spell first, because it's the tab that was open. And there was no spell for me to use that on. Probably making no sense when I'm talking about the sound cutting off. It doesn't matter, it just is. And now you all will die. You know, technically, I probably could do this. And again, I did have the full waterworks gear on my uh, other wizards. I should probably get to crafting the ice stuff on for the set for yeah because I do have full crafting on my I on my level 99 fire wizard so I should get to doing that. I just noticed that I had since I have full crafting I can craft the spells rather than having to go around and try and farm lore master for them but All hail Santa Claus! Oh great. Wait, no, never mind. So I thought someone else had joined, but then I remembered it's one o'clock in the morning. Nobody else is gonna join. Back to Steward K. And the sound goes off yet again. I love when this happens. I love when I'm just like going through. And it's weird. It's really weird. It only happens when I'm recording. Why? 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 Brave work, Squire. Ah, oh, yeah, get you I leveled you up. Go. To get into the Weirwood, however, you'll need to talk to old Greenbeard. Okay, my fire wizard has a big start I'm gonna take I'm not gonna cut this I'm not gonna cut this out I'll be gonna be showing you guys the little shopping thing while my fire goes up to the um old green beard to the shopping center hooray So empty here.
I have never se I have the entire- I pretty- Do I have the entire game to myself right now? Am I the only person online? What the- There's always somebody here. Oh my god. Am I the only person? Okay, no, no I'm not. There's two people that are also logged on. It's plus three. Have fun with that. Now there's plus five. Of course. And of course that thing doesn't work, but whatever. Well, that's... it's not working out, so... wait, nah, I'm gonna try something. Okay, so no, they don't have any. It's a no auction, isn't it? Yeah, it's no auction. Back to Victoria. I guess my Fire Wizard did a lot more side quests than my Ice Wizard did because she has already halfway through level 50, 73 and I only just got here so. And there's still no sound. This is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Your old green beard. I'm probably going to cut this video short right here. You are, you, I have, you are an apprentice to the stripling Merle Ambrose, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I've not heard that name in many seasons. You wish to enter the Weirwood? Mm. The path has been closed since the Foundlings attacked. I have lost one of my daughter's wizards. Oh, the wind moans that Phelan Greensleeves was captured by chaotic Logress knights. My Phelan is but a defenseless sapling. Make the Logress knights tell you how to find her wizard. And then, mayhaps, we can speak great I can go beat the shit out of some wizards or not wizards knights yeah I have got to start doing this sometime that is not two in the morning even though I have absolute even though I'm not tired in the slightest I'm gonna regret this tomorrow I can already tell you that. I'm gonna regret this. Is it completely and totally random? <sighs> well, so much for having a blade for that spell. For either one of them, not a single blade came up!
Forest Lord, yay. Or... Okay. Good choice. Oh, so now the blade shows up. It's too late, though. I'm just gonna... Oh, it shows up for both of them. So even though I was looking at the fire, it's still held true. For both. Without the blades, these things are weak. I like how they recently retextured the ice hammer so it's more transparent. You'd think something with that huge of muscles that would be a little bit stronger. Just pass and wait. And now is when they die. And now is when they die. I don't know why I sung that. Failing green, please. Uh, she's obliged at the Logris estate here. This Unfortunately, my fire wizard did not collect it. So we gotta do another battle. Uh. Yes, sorry, my. As I said, it's 1:12 in the morning. My commentary is not gonna be. It's peak. It's not. It's just not. And I can't use anything. So. Oh yay, not only did I not get a power pip, but I didn't get a blade either.
And now the blade shows up, but it's too late. I'm just gonna attack. Well, that was waste. into my deck, wow. Come on, fire dragon. Work. Darn you. Potato. Okay, good. Two battles in my fire wizard got it. Be the dryad Phelan Green Sleeves. Funny, she doesn't look confined. Greetings, fair squire. What can I do for you this day? Kidnapped? <laughs> Stars, no. I have fallen in love with Sir Malik the Logos. Would you tell my father the happy news? A fox and a tree, that is a new one. I have not, I, why? Someone at King's Isle has some explaining to do. I've heard of furries, I can understand two furries getting together. So, I mean, that's an, that's an understandable subplot, or sub... I don't know the word right now because it's one in the morning. Sub-something. Subtle cue, that's what it is. Subtle cue. I can understand the subtle cue of two furries getting together. Oh, what? <laughs> in love! Oh, what wonderful sun-dappled moods! Oh. This news is like a cool breeze through my leaves. I was distressed about my poor sapling. And instead, she is to be married. Go back at once to Sir Malik the Logress and request my... Mm. Oh. I must prepare fresh new leaves for the upcoming... Vent. 
Find out from Sir Malik de Logris when I should arrive. Why am I still playing this at 2 in the morning? Why? Uh, yeah, because I, I'm asleep during the rest of the day. Maybe not a good idea on my part. Come from old Greenbeard? You don't look much like a gardener. <laughs> An invitation for that treant? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Those creatures spoiled the shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans, and fairies. Could you imagine what they would do to my lovely estate? Tell him he is unwelcome. The heck? Why was this? What? Why? That that voice does not. That voice does not fit. He's not a hulking barbarian. That was weird. That voice was really weird. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Old Greenbeard once, and then I'm gonna turn it out for the night. He said what? Why? I shall raise no a red cap called Chagan Nose by Actually, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna. The shrine relics. Get them back. And restore the shrine to hospitality. I'm just gonna do this, boss. This is the. I promise. Well, it doesn't really matter what I promise, but I'm just, this is gonna be the last boss. For me. I can't go on, Jan. I can't go on. God damn it, why can't I, I really couldn't go on, I got stuck. <laughs> Good of you to stick your nose in. I was feeling a little peckish. You know, I don't even care enough to equip prisms for my fire wizard. I'm just going to go verbatim and see what I can do. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have, uh... Yeah.
Maybe it wasn't a good idea to not equip prisms for my fire, considering that I have pretty much no attack deck. No attacks in my deck. Ah, oh, whatever. If I fail, I fail. There's an attack that I can use. Let's put up a blade.
Okay, that one does more damage. Nature's wrath. Take your cursed relics. It takes a little elbow grease and some basic masonry to get the repairs done. But soon the shrine to hospitality and good manners between foxes, dogs, badgers, otters, humans and fairies is looking right as rain. And with that, because I'm not going to turn in the quest because I don't want to start the next one and I have a bad habit of doing that. And with that. I bid you all adieu. 
I accidentally turned around the fire one, which wasn't the one recording. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. This has been part something of my fire and ice walkthrough through Avalon. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys. I look forward to making more of these videos in the future, and I also look forward to actually making these videos on a much more scheduled basis. It won't... This one... These ones, the ones for my fire and current life that's in this Tekka, won't be coming out as often. Well, actually, they'll be coming out... I'll post them... I'm, I'm going to be making these videos throughout the week. Pretty much. I'll do them at, like, late at night. But they will be... Po they will be, like, um every weekend I'll be posting it. Because I don't... On my laptop, I don't have... I'm not... I'm, I'm not on my laptop. On my laptop, I don't have any... um. Uh, editing software. I have to do it on my desktop, which I can only do on the weekends, because I can only come to, I only get to my house on the weekends. I'm at college and work all throughout the week, so I can't come home and I can't edit, but I can record, so I can do that. I can record on my computer, my laptop, which will make this better quality than what you see right now. Better quality, a lot better quality. And then I can go home, upload the video from my heart, from my, uh, special hard drive for my external hard drive and put it onto here and I'll be done. That's easy as pie. Anyways, again, Stefan Frostrider, thank you for watching. Remember to, if you like the video, remember to like, remember to share the video with your friends, and if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching. This is Stefan Frostrider, signing off.